All right, all right, all right, Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vira, it is Scorpion, Reds, Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2020. About to say July 22. Jesus, I'm about to jump into the future. Okay, hold on. <laughs> July 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button if this video resonates. So if you just want to send some love over to your girl, feel free to go ahead and hit that like button, okay? Let the spirit move you. Yes, God. All right. If there's anybody that would like to book a personal private reading with me, the only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my YouTube page or click the description box of this video and it gives you all the various links to connect with me or to support the page and click that button that says Instagram and send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just simply email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Okay, we are reloaded. All right, you guys, I want to just... Send a big thanks to every last one of you guys that have been reaching out to me while I was on my break and has been booking a personal and private readings because we have eight new decks on this table here. I actually was able to purchase more than eight decks, but legitimately, that's how much love y'all has been showing me while I was on my break. So shout out to every last one of you guys that have been connecting with me just on a personal level, just for real, for real. Um, but we got eight new decks on the table. And again, I just want to send that love. And you know, as we always do, we give praises and thanks and we give our blessings, our admiration, our love. We give Father God his gifts, his flowers, his acknowledgement before we ask for any guidance uh, to help us right now navigate you know these waters so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me let's uh say a prayer so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces we thank you so much for everything just just moving and swimming and flowing upstream for us father god we feel so good we feel this new birth we feel determined we feel all of the reciprocity of all of the hard work that we've been putting into our life all of these changes and just like really feeling all of the magical elements that we are father god it's like we got that psychic gift we got that psychic power we're learning to trust our intuition and just going in that just animalistic that just you know animal instinct that we have to just know when to do what to do and just listening to that inner gut that inner guidance so we thank you so much for just allowing us to just be creative and just live out our truth and live out our destiny and just live in our purpose and just to continue to create and develop our gifts and grow Throughout this season, Father God, we feel blessed, we feel covered, we feel capable, Father God, and we just thank you. Can you please give us guidance that we need to receive uh, for the month of July 2021? We thank you again for all of the blessings and the gifts and the lessons in the past, present, and future, Father God. We thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. All right. Now let's get into this. So, you guys, we have the crystal grid. Uh, cards here that um, I just got. So let's see what we get here for my Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. We want a card for Pisces, please. Hold on, these were turned around. We want a card for Pisces. What is going on? Well, all of these flipped around cards now. Alright. Alright. Thank you. So this is... Uh, I've never seen this one. Uh, Coblado Selectite. This means love, emotional healing, and compassion. It says, love is all you need, especially with the cobalto selactite, a stone of, conditional, of unconditional love and forgiveness. 
This crystal promotes emotional healing above all else. It fosters compassion for yourself, exuding the confidence that your self-worth can only be cultivated from within. Self-love rituals are encouraged with this stone, especially those that nourish and honor your body as a temple. The Cobalto Selectite amplifies the vibration of love, nurturing your inner child and giving you endless energetic hugs. You are always supported. This is the sign of Cancer and the planet of Venus. Hmm. Beautiful. I've never seen this one before. Cobalto, Selactite. Let's see. I like that loving energy, all of that stuff. Okay, hello. You operating on the face of self love. Okay, hello. Unconditional love and forgiveness. Promote emotional healing above all else. That is a very good place to be. Come on, sha la la. Hello, Pisces. You better come on through. Now, that's the best stone I've seen all. <laughs> Do I all of it? Okay, now y'all doing too much Pisces. Now, now, now let Pisces, y'all not about to do a cancer on me. Be trying to get me to read more than what I said I was going to do. And y'all still just doing too much. You're still doing too much. I'm sorry. Too much. Working that body and shit. Hey, 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 hey. You're too much. Working the body and shaking it. Come on, Pisces. Give me guidance for July. Two cards. Don't make this difficult. I know we want what you want, but baby. Just give me two cards for Pisces. Thank you. The Nine of Wands. Okay. You guarded. What you being so guarded? What you not trying to tell me the information? What you not trying to tell me your secrets? What's going on with your heart? That's what you trying to do? Okay. I already see what's going on with you, Pisces. You don't want nobody in your business this season. I feel you, Pisces. You don't want nobody in your business. Because you like, listen, these bitches be watching me. I kind of feel like somebody's watching me. Okay. Hello. Pisces, like, listen, I'm a little guarded this season, friends. Because, listen, it's a lot of beautiful stuff. As you can see, girl, it's a lot of beautiful stuff going on with me i'm in a place of un unconditional love and self-healing and revealing that true just like inner pink power range of pussy power i let girl i'm look, uh, hello you don't see me with my new hair like i don't care listen girl it's a new me it's a new she it's a new her okay how you doing I don't be telling everybody my business like that res no more. I keep all of my, you know, personal and inner truths to myself. You know, if you will, you know, no disrespect, girl. Listen, I, I ain't mad at you. I ain't, I'm just trying to do my job. Can I do my job? Damn. Damn, yeah, I mean, I'll be coming through disrespecting Pisces. Jesus. Louisa. What is this? The Five of Pentacles. Listen, Pisces said, listen, just know, res, I'm good. I'm not in no lack no more. I'm in the inner circle. Okay? All of that shit that was popping off last year or shit, even earlier this week, if you will, girlfriend. Listen, let me tell Let me bring it in. Bring it in. Reds. <laughs> I'm sitting real good right now. Things is going good for me. Things are going pretty good. Got whatever help that I needed. I'm actually sitting on some coins. I've learned a whole lot. Um, and actually... Whatever happened to me last year, however I fell short, whatever it was that I did, I totally get why that happened. And I know how to never allow that to happen again. It's like, if y'all said I, I, I didn't want people to see me do it. I feel like Pisces has been like secluded, has been to their self, has been in their little bat cave, their little she shed. You know what I'm saying? You know, Cheryl got her little she shed. You know, you've been in your she shed, mind of your business. You know what I'm saying? Not letting everybody kind of know what you've been up to. Like you may peek your head out every once in a while. Other than that, 
Like, if people know you, they know you. If they don't, they don't. But I feel like you've been making the connections. Why do I feel like you've been doing everything, like, online? Like, you've been making a whole bunch of, like, connections online where it's like you don't necessarily have to see or touch people or something like that. But you guys have been dodging, like, unnecessary shit, but I feel like just keeping to yourself. Keep it to yourself. I want to say like there's somebody that feels like online. They can show their true self. They feel confident. It's like they feel confident online. It's like I could be my quirky self. I have my own little group. I'm part of the in crowd. Like I might even be the leader. I might be one of the most creative people. Like I have my own inner circle or something like that. It's like. And I keep to myself, I don't keep people in my business the way that I used to do. I don't. Mm -mm. Give me guidance for Pisces. One more card. Thank you so much. Ooh, you got the whip. Okay, now, Pisces. Ooh, okay. What you doing, Pisces? Hold on. You got the whip and you got the call. <laughs> It's like you have to teach people a lesson to like completely remove yourself by it's like it's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me because oh um, God, I don't give a fuck. Like when I remove myself, I remove myself for good, like forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. It's going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Actually, I take pleasure in not being around like a few people like I am so good. It's something about kind of just like starting over and just seeing other people suffer with you not being in that presence and them trying to figure out what you're doing and them knowing that you're moving on without them and just like it's like I don't know it makes you feel good knowing that other people hurt knowing that you don't give a fuck about them and that their present means less to you than it did you know what I'm saying like you really were not that important. Like, I can walk away in full confidence that I don't give a fuck about you. I don't think about you. It hurts you more than it hurts me. Because anytime I look at you, anytime I hear anything about you, it gives me pleasure. Because, like, y'all are fucking funny. And I don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's just like, Pisces has been dodging unnecessary people unnecessary things like they are so good so the jack of clubs right now this is like you guys can be working um when i see the whip i take this as sometimes like a pleasure type of thing like you could be like a, a, a very athletic type of person you could be back into doing some type of um why am I hearing something about jumping rope or acrobatics or something? But it's something that has something to do with um, sports of some sort like that. Some sorts. Like someone is good. Someone has like a very athletic body. Someone takes pleasure in like sweat. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm kind of getting with that. And then the jack of clubs is like you could be... Not like a very high tier level, uh, well, I want to say consultant, but like someone in like a group or something like that. Like you might not be the king or queen, but you're the jack. It's like you do have some type of hierarchy within some type of group or organization or something like that. Like you could be the event planner or you could be the, um, the artist or the musician or something like that. You see what I'm saying? And you could be very good at it, very talented. Like you could actually be very competitive or something. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. And then the is this the nine of diamonds? And you got the nine of diamonds with the coffin. So again, I feel like there's something about you taking pleasure and you feel successful. You feel um it gives you a different ambiance just walking around knowing that you quit something 
cold turkey successfully you're not looking back it's like it was like a goal to uh, again i want to say like quit something cold turkey like walk away with no feelings no emotions not even a morning uh just like completely releasing yourself from something it's like you take pride in that you take um it gives you more self-confidence. Do you understand? It's like I'm no longer in a state of lack where I am going to continue to keep myself destitute, waiting for the arrival, waiting for something to get together or waiting for the ships to be aligned for something like I just don't give a shit anymore. Like I, it's something about the more you continue to wish on a, a lucky star on like a dead on dead energy. I don't know why I felt like I needed to say that. But it's like you wishing for something to be. Uh, arisen. You know what I'm saying. Like a, a, the death card in the reverse. You want you want to be. Something to be awoken from the dead. Or something. It's like it's, a, it's not working. It's not, it's not going to happen. Do you understand. So once I completely let that pass through my system. That's as soon as things started to turn around and uplift for me. And things start. I started to see the change. And I, I started to love myself. And it's like once I learned how to love myself. There is no going backwards. There is no. There's only going forwards. And and something about like a weight and wishing for the wrong things and it's like you dodge it's you you understand and you protect yourself you protect your energy you protect yourself from unwanted people you know what i'm saying unwanted people unwanted things things that are a waste of time uh mm -mm, we just not doing that it's not it doesn't benefit you yeah, I want to say that you take pleasure in seeing that you beat the competition. I feel like you might have been indoors focusing and studying because like the five of pentacles is like in the first this could be like you finally going to school, educating yourself, learning yourself, um, studying, you know, um, because it's in the upright it's like a place of lack being shut out in the up and in, in the reverse it's like gain like you could have been accepted or been um offered the opportunity to be a part of an established organization like you could come in and you can come to our school now like i must have overlooked your application or something or it's something like that this is the four of swords again like you enjoyed your state of rest um again it's like once you finally woke up from whatever this there was some type of stress or some type of pain and nightmare you see the three of swords right there so the three of swords is like the four of swords is when you had to rest and recoup and build yourself back up um on a mental health level you know what i'm saying it's like having to take a break from a stressful situation something that gave you a lot of worry pain and anguish you know um it's like much needed rest. Much needed rest. Give me guidance. And it was like God. I feel like it was God protection. It was God watching over you. It was like God made the decision for you. It's, you needed to. And then the star. Come on now. How better can this reading get? Like honestly. You guys take pleasure in knowing that. While I was resting. Getting my beauty sleep. Really letting God move through my life and showing just how important I am. How much I shine. Getting my faith together. Like, this is someone looking at themselves in the mirror every day. Telling themselves every day, I love you. You are you. Can't nobody be you. Can't nobody sing like you. Can't nobody dance like you. Can't nobody cook like you. You're a fucking star. You might not have made it yet, but baby, it's on your path. It's on your destiny. Like, I'm creative. I'm It's like you are speaking your destiny into your life. It's like, even though I haven't made it, I haven't seen it, I know I'm a star. I know I'm special. I know I'm different. I just had to take a rest, get myself from negative energy, and rebuild. 
build. Do you understand? This is someone that has unwavering faith in their self and their ability. Do you understand? They know that God is watching over them. Look, even as I sleep, God is watching me. I'm being protected. I'm constantly talking to the sky, talking to Jesus. This is someone that has unwavering, unbreakable faith. They know that the power lies within them to bring change, to bring Every fucking thing in their life that they ever hoped and wished and dreamed about. It comes from you and your connection to the higher power. If God told me to lay my ass down and rest and whatever the fuck I was going through was stressful and stop walking in the living nightmare. Let me remove that from you. Enjoy this peace. Enjoy because when you get up, honey. When you get up, honey. They can't even deny you. You're a fucking star. You shine better than the rest. You too blessed to be stressed. God will look. God will come and remove his baby. And look. It, <laughs> I'm sorry. As you ducking and dodging these motherfuckers, look, you are ducking and dodging these people, resting, tightening up your skills. Getting your shit together and the whole time. Because these niggas can't find you. Look, these niggas can't find you. You're beating them at their own game. Like I said, the Jack of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs is, is, is the young fit one in the group. Do you understand? Beating their ass at their own game. They can't even find you. Because you feel me? Because today I got time, cuz. Today you had time, cuz. All right? You had to do the, uh, what's that game called? Um... The maze runner, like you hit, you look, you hit the maze runner on the bitch. You understand what I'm saying? You hit the maze <laughs> And you went to your little hole, you rest out, God watching you and stuff like that. Whole time, it's like, wow. At first, you was being shut out. Now you done been let in the mud, and you don't shut other motherfuckers out. <laughs> and, and they got to sit back and watch you win. Gotta sit back and watch you win and be the fucking star. Do you hear me? Now you in the in crowd and these motherfuckers is in the outs. What goes up must come down. And what was down goes the fuck up. You hear me? You better get the hell out of here. You better tell these people, listen, peace be with you and go on. Okay? Go be great in your lavender. Go on. <laughs> go be great. In your lavender. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Please. Just go and type in YouTube. Go be great in your lavender. I promise you. <laughs> you will thank me. Listen then you got the water right here. It says develop. Flexible. Wait. Develop flexibility and aim to be harmonious in all endeavors. Alright listen. And you know. Water can adapt to any shape that you put it in. We're emotional creatures, but once we learn how to control the waves, honey, oh, huh, we are forced to be reckoned with. All right? And it looks like here, listen, y'all know how to protect. Once you learn how to protect, once y'all learn how to protect yourself, Huh. Nothing can stop them, y'all. Y'all's on the way up. Y'all can't listen. Y'all can't listen. I, I the best for last. Tell me what's going on with my Pisces. Listen. <laughs> Tell me what's going on with my Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on? Pisces done rested. Listen, you got the garden and what you got in forgiveness. Listen, girl. Let's, hold on. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know what I just thought about when I seen the garden and forgiveness? Um, do y'all know that uh, song from the Migos? It's called Avalanche or something. And uh, me, uh, 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 Quavo says, any 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 uh, chick thinks she played me uh, or think that she playing me, I just sit down and let her. And he was like, um... Basically, like saying anybody thinking that they 
coming up off of me or that they working me that they getting something off of me like whatever i'm here to help whatever like i'm here to give charity y'all think y'all helping me i don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying oh i can wish i could hear i wish i remember what he's saying i don't think i could hear him is saying um Something about my skills getting better. There's something in peace, Mandela. How can I help you? Like, that part, I know I'm not saying it right, but he's like, oh, he's saying I'm, 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 I'm willing to feed whoever. How can I help you? So it's like, you know, I, I feel like my skills getting better. I'm on that peace, Mandela. I'm willing to feed whoever. How can I help you? You feel what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not even mad at y'all niggas. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because I'm here to shine. Like, even if you thought you was fucking with, fucking me over, trying to get over me. Listen, I'm, I'm willing to feed whoever. If you think it's benefiting you more, trying to come into my life and trying to, you think you working me. Any he what he said, any ball thinks she trying to play me. I just let I just sit back and let her. Quavo, look, Qu Qu Quavo. Don't play with I'm sorry. Migos, okay. Mama, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, the garden is public. This is to me, this is public rep recognition. This is communication. This is comfort. This is ambiance. This is to be seen and to be spoken about. And then the forgiveness. This is again about being unbothered. This is you being out and open in the public. Like any broad thought she was trying to play me, I just sit back and let her. You know, my skills getting better. I'm on that peace, Mandela. I'm willing to feed whoever. How can I help you? Listen. I'm out here serving out miracles. I'm a fucking god. I'm on some godly shit. I'm on some peace be with you type of shit. I'm listen. I'm out here in the public. I'm not about to let nobody work me. Don't ever get me fucked up. But if you think that you sitting up there playing me, you are playing yourself. Because at the end of the day, I can't. I, I'm not gonna do nothing that I'm not open and willing to do for just any average person. If you just want to be looked at as charity. God gave it to me to be charitable. So you're not hurting me. You you hurting yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's like I'm still being charitable. I'm still being give I'm still being giving. I'm still offering forgiveness. You're not hurting me. You don't understand? Only thing God taught me to do is how to dodge fuck ass niggas like you who think you trying to work or you trying to do listen. I'm on my peace Mandela. That's that self love. You know what I'm saying? Like I listen, I love listen, I, I you, you, you hurt. You played yourself. I oh, only thing I could say, someone played themselves because Pisces is dodging the fuck out of somebody. It opened doors for me, closed doors for you. I'm out here shining in the public. I'm in a place of an open, forgiving heart. You ain't even hurt me, so it's like if you try, and and it hurts somebody to know. That Pisces so good like this. Like I'm on some. I'm on my peace Mandela. I'm willing to feed whoever. How can I help? What? What? In fact, I'm willing to take on some more charity. Bitch, it was charity. Look, girl. I'm sorry. And I still don't want to talk to you, girl. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Because I still feel like. Now that things are going up on your side and things are being, and, and, and there's like this closed, there's this gate, it's this barrier, it's this barrage of people that are, will either come through and distract this person where they forget that they're trying to get on the other side. That's like almost like you, you think you're getting close to the celebrity and then here come the paparazzi just you know, create this barrier where you, they're pushing you back. You know what I'm saying? Where you can't even get to the star. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like you ducking the star, ducking and dodging a paparazzi, ducking and dodge old exes and, you know, uh, fake fans and stuff like that. And it, and it hurts this person that they can't get an angle of you. Uh, uh, you know, it's like I don't know if they are receiving that you... It's like they're they're getting the fact that you don't give a fuck from another source, have it be the media, your music, your art, or your, your your something. You know what I'm saying? Or 
it's so passe and they're so parquet like you know what i'm saying girl we we use real butter that's parquet i can't believe it wasn't butter but bitch it wasn't butter and i can't make i can't make no um no pie crust with no parquet you can't make no pie crust with no parquet girl you need real butter uh-uh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Okay, I'm doing too much. But do y'all understand what I'm saying? That shit was fake. We need the real. Like, that, 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 that shit is... That shit was that fake shit. And when you come at a motherfucker with that fake shit, what was up will go down. And what was at the bottom will rise. And you'll be down there looking up at the star. People don't recognize that you got the three of coins and you got the knight of swords. And he's just the knight of swords in the name of Jesus. So, like, there's, like, a hard halt. There's a hard smack in the face of truth. There's a very clear um, decision to not work, to not fix, to not enable, to not encourage, to not uh, mislead. In no way, shape, or form will Pisces, um, I will not enable an enabler. I don't know. It's like someone is looking for someone to, I forgive you, but I forgive you on my own terms and how it works for me. Me forgiving you does not encompass me having to give into your demands, listen to you, talk to you, help you do anything my forgiveness comes for me providing peace to myself and knowing i don't carry any hurt or anguish or anything you go and be great in your lavender please be great be great in your lavender do you understand little periwinkle i don't know who little periwinkle is go forth and be great in thine lavender we're great over here like we have like completely like swept away any type of I don't have any ill will no animosity I wish you best and I come forth with greatness and well wishes go forth and leave me the thy fuck alone go watch me on TV go watch me go be great I don't want to talk to you. There's nothing that you can say that I would want to hear. I would hurt your feelings if I actually told you. God told me to be peaceful, okay, and honor thyself. I would love to cut you out, but God said, you know, spare this child. And um, I'm a nanosecond from not doing that. Just leave me the fuck alone. And I'm trying to, because I'm trying to be great. <laughs> I'm trying to be great. And I feel like there's someone that wants like some type of public uh, dispute here possibly. Especially with that Knight of Swords. It's like you want me to embarrass myself and I'm not. Like I, listen, uh, uh, security, uh, get this bitch. Let me just block you. Because girl... Uh, your small little tiny violin. Don't nobody give a fuck about this shit. The listen, bitch. Give a shit. Alright. It gives me more pleasure to know that you cannot talk to me and you're still sitting over there mad and boo-hoo. Small tiny violin. Bitch, fuck you. And your little horse that you rode on. Okay? Alright? Your little Metro Transit car. Get the fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Because y'all have me being petty now. I got to go. I love y'all. Y'all hit the like button because y'all just. <laughs> Sha-la-la. I'll see y'all next month. Bye.